What's up, YouTube? Got 2008 Saturn here. And we got a busted stud. So, I'm going to do a quick video on it. And hopefully, if anybody running the same problem, it'll help them out. Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is remove the wheel. Make sure you got jack stands, safety first. Alright, after the wheel off, we're going to take the caliber off. With the caliper off, I forgot to mention that bolt is 13 millimeter. So next thing you'll know, what you want to do is you want to take off the caliper bracket. And these here are going to be 21 millimeter. Next thing in line, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to drive it out. Got a little four pound mallet here and give it a couple of waxes to get it work. First, I soaked it with a little bit of penetrating oil. I'm going to let it sit for a couple more minutes and then give it a shot. And if the mallet do not work, I guess I'm going to have to break out the old air hammer. Yeah, that popped out pretty easy. Wasn't too bad. First snafu on the list. It's the clearance here. I think it's tight. Right there. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to flatten this out right here a little bit. It's not going to affect the strength of the bolt at all. <clears throat> That's going to flatten this head out. Just let me clear the spot right here. Rather than trying to I'm not going to grind on my spindle at all, but it's close. All right, I didn't feel like going away to my shop, so I just took my Dremel and cut it off. That one little edge, flattened it out. And now, hopefully, yeah, there we go. It lets me slide by and go in. So now, this is the part where I'm a Pull the stud in. All right, I'll show you how that works. All right, this is what I'm gonna do here. I got this little oversized nut. Slide that over. Put this washer on. Then I'm gonna screw the nut, lug nut on, and then hit it with the impact. Hopefully, it should draw in. Washer in there. Put a little more washer in there to take up some space. I actually pulled it far as I could with the impact. I don't know if my battery was a little bit low, but uh, the rest of the way I gave it a couple smacks with the mallet, drove it all the way home. Alright, now we're going to start reverse order. So, first thing we do is put the caliper frame bracket on. That's after the rotor, of course. I might have to put the camera down. It's going to be tough doing it one handed. Alright, going to run these up. You know, I like to use these power tools, but I always like to finish up by hand old school get a good feel on it bracket on pad still in now it's time to put this copper on all right it's nice having six lugs again i uh, definitely feel a lot safer having six on there even though it was like two days i didn't have but five but i was staying local but anyway um if you ever run across a job don't hesitate to do it it's not too bad and uh, if any problems, just hit me up in the comment section. Until then, comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for being on.